Latham's word of the day from the Book of Jargon, Real Estate and Reads, is force majeure. The definition of force majeure is literally an overpowering event. Historically, many people refer to force majeure as an act of God. Typically, a force majeure event would include a hurricane, war, earthquakes, terrorism, or another occurrence beyond the control of the party claiming the force majeure event. But usually, it wouldn't include things that result in an inability to pay money, like an economic downturn or our current rising interest rates. A force majeure event excuses a party from its performance under a contract. The party claiming force majeure has to have done everything reasonably possible before and after the event to avoid the effects. Force majeure clauses have been in contracts forever, and it's really just a risk allocation mechanism if performance is hindered, delayed, or prevented by an overpowering event, which couldn't have been anticipated or controlled. The occurrence of COVID-19 and its consequences, including government shutdowns and supply chain issues, have really brought force majeure clauses into the focus for many parties. Taking time to carefully and thoughtfully craft the force majeure provisions in your contract to match the potential risks of each of the parties will ultimately result in a much more equitable allocation of risk and hopefully an amicable solution if a force majeure event really does occur. Force majeure.